Hi, my name is Chef Matt. I'm the culinary director at Sprouts Farmers Market, and I'm happy to join you today here at Chef in the Garden. A lot of people would say I have the coolest job at Sprouts Farmers Market. Not only do I get to play around with all the prepared foods, but the culinary team integrates itself in many ways, pushing better nutritional standards in the foods that we prepare for our customers. Today I'm going to walk you through a recipe that is full of flavor. Spiced mint couscous with seeds and dried fruits. The reason I love this dish is because you can go to a grocery store's bulk section like Sprouts Farmer's Market and pick out all the dried fruits, all the nuts and all the seeds you see and mix them right into this salad. So this recipe starts with the couscous. Couscous is essentially semolina wheat flour that's been pre-cooked. It forms these little granules. It's essentially pasta. And it's a very interesting thing to work with because it's pretty easy to prepare. Uh, we're gonna take our broth, measure out a cup and a half of vegetable broth. I'm gonna cover it so it heats up quickly and it'll go right on the fire. So the bubbles and the steam lets me know that our liquid is hot enough to add our couscous. This is how simple this recipe is. You're simply taking your pre-measured couscous, goes right into our hot liquid. I'm gonna just shake it up a little bit to evenly distribute the couscous, and then we cover it. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes. This part is very important. It's gonna allow all that liquid to get inside the couscous. The spices in this recipe are really key to bringing it to life. Uh, today we're using cinnamon and cumin. Uh, we're gonna measure out, it's gonna be about, I'd say a half a teaspoon of the cumin. Uh, and then separately, we're gonna add our cinnamon. We're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon. A little bit goes a very long way with cinnamon. You do about a half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. My kids will get annoyed with me because I'm heavy handed on the pepper, but uh, each to his own. Uh, and I think if you like a little spicier uh, flavor, then go for it. And then salt. I like to control the salt myself. Uh, a lot of the broths that you can buy in the store are jacked up with sodium. Cool thing about working at Sprouts Farmer's Market is we have access to these kind of ingredients. I'm using actually a no sodium broth today. I control the salt. And I think that's one cool thing about making your own recipe. What I like to do at this point in the recipe is begin to add my liquids. Our recipe calls for about a quarter cup of olive oil. Two tablespoons of honey is in our recipe. And then the acidity. The juice of one lemon typically is probably enough for the quantity we're making today. I like to give it a little bit of roll, loosen up the juices inside, cut that bad boy in half. Got a handy lemon juicer. You can do it with your hands, don't be afraid. You'll just have to pick out the seeds if you miss any. Mix it all together, get those spices incorporated. Now the magic, right? All the fun dried fruits and seeds. One of the cool things about Sprouts is all the different dried fruits that are offered. Apricots, dates, figs, and then these beautiful tart red cherries. They are just a, a level above juicy. The recipe calls for about a quarter of a cup of these. Why I like to chop my cherries? I like a little bit in every bite. If you are using a knife, make sure you have an adult present. Uh, it can be dangerous. These things are not dull. I'm gonna set those aside. Now, before we go any further, let's go to Mr. Pickles. He's gonna show you how to plant different varieties of mint in the garden. Thanks, Chef Matt. Um, today, we are going to be planting or transplanting some mint. And we have this mint plant here. Uh, this is gonna be kind of what you get. This is spearmint. These plants just don't uh, magically uh, transplant. And so today, to help me out, I brought uh, my magical assistant, Hillary. Say hi, Hillary. Hi. No, hi, Hillary. Hi, Hillary. Oh, no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Hillary is going to give me a hand here. And um, so the first thing I want to do is just a little bit of magic. Um, Hillary, will you give me the wand? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, it's time for just a little bit of magic. Um, Hillary, uh, hand me the cloak too. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so before we do any magic, I'm gonna say the magical words, okay? So uh, Hillary, what I need you to do is cover your ears when I say the magical words, because I don't want anything to happen to you. I wouldn't want you to be transplanted or anything like that, okay? Remember? So go ahead and cover your ears now. All right. All right. I'm going to wave the magical wand on here. Okay. And the magical words. We are ready. Madrigora. 
Whoa, look at that. It magically transplanted. Well, these plants don't magically really transplant on their own. We're going to have to help them out a little bit. So um, Hillary, you're going to help me transplant some plants. So um, we're going to try to get this back to where it was so we can show the kids how to do this. Okay. All right? You ready? Yeah. Wave the magic wand. Madragora! Oh, nice job. Nice job. <laughs> really doing some amazing magic. All right. Mint comes in a variety of plants. So this one um, is spearmint. This one is... Peppermint. The one thing about these plants is they are uh, what they say invasive. That means that they will travel underground, the roots are going to move around, and they're going to choke out whatever is around it. So one of the best things you can do with these things is to plant them in a pot or plant them in a space where they can expand and they're not going to interrupt your other plants. So keep that in mind. The big word is invasive. So you can take this one and okay. then just follow my cue. All right, just put your hands in here to hold it together. All right. OK? Like this? You got it? OK, then flip it upside down. All right, and then you're going to just squeeze the sides of this thing a little bit. We're just trying to loosen the container from the roots. Wow. Wow. All right, so I can see you have a few roots there. Just scratch them a little bit. You were really just telling the roots that they can grow outward now. If they were confused about being stuck in that container, we're just loosening. Just give them a little tickle, and you can talk to them too. You can just say, hey, you guys can get loose now. Yes, you guys can get loose now. All right, so now you got them loose? Yep. OK, we're just going to flip it over. We've already put soil in here that part way. It's like halfway in right now. Now, we're just going to fill the soil around so it's at the same level that the plant is at. OK, yours looks good. It's time for just a little bit more magic. Madrigora! Whoa! Look at this. All right, we have got three transplanted mint plants here. Did a great job. All right, so we've got this done. It's time to water these. Don't forget that these are invasive. So if you don't put them in a pot, put them someplace where they're not going to choke out your other plants or, or be a problem. So for now, we'll get back to Chef Matt. Thank you, Mr. Pickle. And we're going to begin picking our mint. This recipe would not be the same without it. We're using a generous half cup. To pick our mint, you do want to avoid the stems. But essentially, what I like to do is run down from where the mint grows and strip the leaves off and then pinch the tip off. Now we're going to chop this up. I give it a real rough chop. I make sure my fingers are curled. Really try to be as safe as I can. It's ready to go. I'm going to get into my parsley. Similarly, we're going to pick the leaves off the parsley. Roughly the same amount, about a quarter of a cup. You can't go wrong with tender herbs in this uh, couscous dish we're making. Again, practicing some safe knife tricks here. We're going to bunch up our herbs, curl up our fingers, make the knife do the cutting for you. Kind of rock it. If it's sharp enough, it's going to just take it and make easy work out of that parsley. So our couscous has sat uh, covered for five to six minutes. We're going to take a fork and really fluff it out. You know you've done a good job. There's no residual liquid in here. You see little balls of couscous. You can transfer it to a bowl. It'll help cool it a little faster. Now we get to mix our recipe. Now everything comes together. All your hard work is about to pay off, young ladies and gentlemen. So we've got our beautiful dressing. I'm going to give it a quick stir just to make sure everything's incorporated. With that, we're going to pour it right over our couscous. We are going to put a roasted uh, sunflower seed in here. Uh, this gives it a little crunch. We've got about a quarter of a cup in this recipe. A quarter of a cup, it's about that much. And what you'll find as you eat the couscous, you'll have little surprises of bites, right? Little, little crunches throughout. Our dried fruits now, those beautiful tender dried cherries, they've got a little bit of tartness to them. They're gonna add some really beautiful contrast into this dish. And then of course our herbs. This dish would be nothing without the mint. The parsley pairs up nicely with it. Kind of fold it. I'm looking to make sure I'm incorporating all my ingredients as I mix the salad, making sure that the herbs are evenly mixed throughout, that the dressing is evenly mixed throughout. 
that I can see little bits of dried cherry throughout the salad. My, oh my. Here's that beautiful dish. I can't tell you how excited I am to taste this right now. I can, this is, aroma is overwhelming me. I wanna get a little bit of everything there. And I'm not gonna be shy either, by the way. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Sweet, savory. I can taste that vegetable broth. It's kind of like the baseline, hitting the base. That tart cherry is really coming out at me and I'm breathing out mint through my nose. Um, the cinnamon and the cumin are really, really present, but they don't overwhelm. I don't think anything overtakes itself in this dish. You should be happy to prepare this and serve it to anyone you love. So cheers, enjoy. Mm -hmm.